Now let's carry on to our instrument settings. We're gonna switch it back to our instrument mode here. We're gonna upload that preset. Cool, the LEDs have reacted to the change. Very nice. And we will dive into the instrument settings here. So as you can see, we have the ability to choose the note that the sway sends once your hand enters the area. We have the ability to choose the octave, the chord type. Here I have unison, so we will just be playing one note, but perhaps I would like a major or a minor, etc., etc. The list goes on. But for the purpose of this example, I will keep it in unison. We also have the ability to change the inversion. Maybe I'll switch it back to minor and we can choose the inversion. I like the second inversion. If we want to take it a step further, we can go through and manually change the notes. Change each note and octave and channel of that specific chord. So we'll just switch back to unison and we'll upload that preset. And now what will happen when I enter my hand? Very nice. That's actually the first note of Runaway. So that's cool. <laughs> okay, carrying on. We also are met with this little expression selection here. We have strike, sway, pulse, and press. Now this is where things gets a little bit interesting because these are our, all the sway's expressive features. Here we have sway. Now sway is one of my personal favorites. Sway is a, the swaying movement that is translated to a rate of change increase, which means that we can map it to a certain parameter and increase the value of said parameter just with the speed at which we sway our hand. So for example, if I wanted it to increase slowly, I would sway slowly. If I wanted it to increase quickly, I would sway quickly. Now we're going to move over to the door so I can show you exactly what that means. Uh, what I will do is I will map sway to the filter cutoff here. So to map that, I'll just delete null mapping. To map that, all I need to do is place my hand in the area and sway my hand. And as you can see, that CC is popping up there. So let's have a listen. And of course in Ableton, you can play around with the mins and maxes of that mapping. So as you could see there, I was when I was entering my hand, you couldn't hear anything because that filter was all the way down. But let's hear what happens when I put it about 50%. Super cool. I think it's a, it's a pretty awesome gesture there. But let's carry on. So we'll just remove that one. And I'll introduce you to Pulse, the next in our list. Now pulse is this movement. Go ahead and map that to the filter cutoff. Cool, let's give that a listen. I also love to put a little delay on it. It gives it this really cool effect. Sounds a little something like this.
All right, very nice, very nice. Let's carry on. Now press. Press is a push into the base of the controller. A little something like this. All right, very nice, very nice. Another thing that I would love to show you is this little thing up here on the top right that looks like a piano keyboard. It allows us to quickly set a scale in our grid. So what do we do? We can click this here. I love the minor scales and let's say A minor, perfect. And we click assign to regions. Now. As you can see, it's automatically assigned uh, the A minor scale there. Let's say we want to switch those just to the notes themselves, then we have to select unison there. Cool. Very, very cool. All right, that sums it up for the deep dive into the modulation and instrument modes. Next, I'm going to break down one of my pieces of content, show you exactly how I use Sway, how I get some of the cool LED effects that we see in those videos. See you there.